Our current understanding of the universe is made possible by millennia of mathematical innovation. Mathematics has been a central driver in the creation of knowledge. For most of us, it is difficult to master the complex logic of contemporary high-level math. But investigating the origins of this sophisticated discipline reveals its inner workings. Emerging civilizations in all parts of the world contributed to the evolution of mathematics. The ancient Greeks built on and formalized the work of earlier civilizations and left us with brilliant examples of early mathematical knowledge and logic. The names of this era are familiar. Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, some of the famous philosophers of ancient Greece. One of these philosophers, Thales, left us with an elegant mathematical proof, Thales' theorem. This theorem reveals the workings of a mathematical mind. Draw a circle. Note the center. Now draw a straight line across the circle that passes through the center. This line represents the diameter of the circle. A and B represent the ends of this line. Now mark a point anywhere on the circumference of the circle. Label this point D. With a straight edge, join B and D. Then A and D. According to Thales' theorem, no matter where D is located on the circumference, angle ADB will always be 90 degrees. This is not intuitive. A proof is required. Let's work through it. We must start with two truths. Truth 1. Add the three interior angles of a triangle and the sum is 180. And truth 2 is that the base angles of an isosceles triangle are always equal. An isosceles triangle has two sides equal. These two sides. It turns out the angles at the base are also equal. Here is how to use these truths to prove Thales' theorem. We need a circle, the center point, and a straight line across the circle, through the center. Label the line AB and the center C. Mark a point somewhere else on the circumference of the circle. Doesn't matter where. I picked this convenient point and labeled it D. Join AD and DB to create this triangle. We are attempting to prove that angle ADB is always 90 degrees. This is Thales' theorem. The proof requires that we draw one more line from C to D. The length of CD is equal to the radius of the circle, the distance from the center to the circumference. Note that line AC is also equal to the radius of the circle, as is line CB. This means that line AC equals line DC. These lines create an isosceles triangle, ACD. The base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal, so that means that angle CAD equals angle CDA. I'm going to give these angles the variable value x. They are equal. Each is x degrees. Interestingly, we have another isosceles triangle here. Line CD equals line CB. They form the isosceles triangle DCB. This time angle CDB equals angle DBC. I'm going to give these two new angles the variable value y, y degrees. This is where the other truth enters the proof. The sum of the interior angles of a triangle equals 180 degrees. Look at triangle ADB. The sum of its angles is x plus x plus y plus y. This sum equals 180 degrees. Now let's use some basic algebra. x plus x gives us 2x, 
and y plus y gives us 2y. So 2x plus 2y equals 180 degrees. I'm going to restate this equation like this. 2 times x plus y equals 180. Now dividing both sides by 2 leaves us with this. x plus y equals 90 degrees. Looking back at our drawing, we can see that angle ADB equals x plus y, which equals 90 degrees. This proves Thales' theorem. Angle ADB equals 90 degrees. The simple logic used here foreshadows the powerful mathematical procedures that will form in the minds of the great men and women who will follow. Isaac Newton, after receiving some praise for his contributions, acknowledged the roots of his genius with this. If I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. We are all privileged to be living now, at a time when we have unprecedented access to the compiled knowledge of humankind. For more math and science videos, visit our website, hyloroom.com.